Greetings, everyone. This is Rock Most Black Ranch with another Mutant Monday. Mm. And uh, as mentioned, oh, excuse me, uh, at near the around the time that uh, House Vex and Powers of Ten came to their conclusion, I'm not going to do breakdowns every every week on uh, the Dawn of X titles. But when Storyline comes around, I will be doing a catch-all on that. And this past week we had, I think, the closest to our first uh, story arc ending. And even then, it's... Saying it's at the end is uh, pre is definitely premature. So X-Force came to it, uh, basically kind of wrapped up its first arc with... Which I'm looking at the first arc as being about the... Rescue of Domino, Formation of X-Force, and Assassination and re Return of Charles Xavier. <clears throat> so, yeah. So yeah, X-Force basically finished, capped off its first run, its first run last week, this past week. Well, let's look, so, we're gonna look back at it. Um, X-Force number one, which was, of course, one of the Debut Dawn of X titles. Uh, I think it you, it's generally listed as being number five, it, the, the fifth down in the reading order. It, it uh, begins with the meaning of a cabal of human supremacists, who we who later are revealed to be going by the name Zeno. They're all masked, so you know, kind of a no one knows who's who. It's kind of the the eyes wide shut of racism. However, it turns out that Domino has uh, infiltrated this group. And, uh, well, she kind of interrupts her bloodletting ceremony, revealing that, yeah, she's not. She's not human. And so she gets captured. Um, we also get a little bit, we do get an a interesting write-up on, uh, Krakoa's security features, learning that, uh, Black Tom Cassidy is actually interfaced with it. Um, however, the island is attacked shortly at after Xavier returns from a, uh, signing a treaty signing ceremony in Sokovia. So the island is, like I said, the island is attacked by a group of, a group of, uh, soldier of, well, mercenaries, I guess, with, who have swatches of skin taken from Domino attached to sewn onto their bodies, as revealed later. But, uh, they arrive on the island, and begin an assault. Taking, killing about 30 different, 30 mutants, including apparently Caliban, poor guy, and Charles Xavier. So the second issue begins with the discovery of Xavier's body and some further confirmation of uh, Return of Mutants. Magneto takes the, sh the remains of, Z of Xavier's three-bro helmet and uh, turns it into a sword, while Gene and Beast go to uh, do what they can about bringing back 
Xavier with the Resurrection Protocols. In the Healing Guards, Celia Reyes and Healer. Are doing are looking over the assa the assassins. But Wolverine goes hunting for information, getting it. Getting a loadout on uh, the plane and discovering that he's not the only one hunting. Kid Omega is also on the case. So while. Uh, and they managed to track down uh, potential location for. to find or relating to the assassins and they find basically what's described as what's best described as an assassin factory. Further examination of the assassins however reveals um, all manner of layers. Ears with uh, spooled with wire for could be used for climbing, biting, or garroting. Teeth coated in an explosive putty. Yeah. At the lab, however. Kid Omega and Wolverine stumble upon Domino, who is still recovering from having bits of her, of her skin flayed off. Which would make anyone unhappy, to say the least, I would, I would think. So, Wolverine, Kid Omega, and Domino managed to escape the assassin factory while Gene and Beast managed to resurrect Xavier. And we got our first post House of X shot of Charlie Xavier with us Rebro helmet on. And it does appear that, um,. He's really wearing the helmet for, you know, just for the hell of it. Um, the assassins, however, get, uh, the last surviving assassin is killed by an unseen, by an unseen assassin, or by an unseen killer. Um, And uh, apparently, the brain and spinal cord of each body were believed to be explosives. But the return Xavier appeared, and and Magneto, you know, speak in front of in front of people, talking about what's happened, the rumors that Xavier is dead. Domino works on getting healed up, and then wearing. Initially, uh, what appears to be telekinetic bandages on account, courtesy of, of uh, Kid Omega. And later on at the point, Xavier and Magneto uh, make the, take the first steps towards the formation of X Force. 
while Zeno explain goes through explaining its own uh, plans. Which include gather, reforming and refunding groups like Weapon X. Fun funneling money to xenophobic gangs, churches, and think tanks. So on and so forth. So the closest thing to an official for formation of the team, or of, of X-Force, with mission statement and everything, happens in X-Force number four. Um, in the wake of a uh, of an attack on a Xavier Pharmaceuticals distribution site, which appears which appears to be, appears to have been. Uh, Made largely by Madrox dupes. But, uh, Xavier make, basically makes his uh, pitch to the to the Quiet Council while Beast, Sage, and Jean Grey investigate the, uh, the attack on the pharmaceutical platform. There's also a list of, uh, Of uh, companies that uh, Xavier is either uh, the shadow chairman or primary stockholder of, all of which have very um, interesting names, and it's also claimed he is perceived to be the wealth. He is seen. He is thought to be the wealthiest and most powerful person on the planet in the Marvel universe. Wow. So who cares about the the Tony Stark or Bruce Wayne argument? How about Bruce Wayne? How about Bruce Wayne and Charles Xavier? But uh, and there's actually a great moment of solidarity showing that at least Apocalypse has meant what he's been saying. He is, you know. As Krakow is the home for mutants, yeah, he he is for he is of mutant kind. Explaining that an assault on Xavier is, is an assault on all of them, and as Shaw is the one making the, as Shaw is the one bitching because well he seems to be really great at that. Apocalypse adds that an assault on Sebastian Shaw is an assault on any of us. Or on, on all of us. And, um... The idea of basically the X-Force being a mutant CIA is floated in. Well... Mystique does not like the idea, but but also says if we're going to compare, if we're going by the CIA model, bring on the blood and blackmail. But Storm is the one who really kind of brings it home by saying, "Hey, look, they're after us. We need to fight back. None of this, you know." Sitting around waiting for, for them to come to us. We go to them. We also learned that Forge is in charge of arming X-Force. And he's been tinkering with his usual means of, of uh, building. And Krako and Biotech with, for interesting, uh, with interesting results. And Z apparently, Logan's asked him to build something, though it's not said what. There's also a, uh, as he puts it, 
as it's described by Forge, a punch bowl of adamantium for whatever they've got to put Wolverine back together. Now, I mentioned in the rundown Forge's daily planner, so here's what's listed. Dawn, beachside breakfast meeting with Xavier. Place order the night before for, for, for Krakoan spinach and turtle egg, 20, omelet, a pound of black market bacon, and a gallon of black coffee. On agenda, making more cool shit. It's marked out, but yeah. Checklist. Sculpt mustache. Left side accidentally longer. 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 And longer tights. Deep sea water rinse. Question of the day. Krakoan flag. Shouldn't we have one? And put it on our weapons? Yes. <laughs> Brainstorm sweet ass organic jet ski and hovercraft with plankton skirted wave control. Be sure not to get 500 squats. Every morning at 10 a.m. New goal. Note, the nation of Terra Verde has so far refused to sign the treaty, re recognizing mutant sovereignty. This is believed to be in part because they are developing so-called telefloronics, organic tech. Obviously, theirs will suck compared to mine, but still, better investigate. Meeting in the armor with, with Black Tom to discuss improvements to island security. Follow-up. Black Tom seems super nervous and keeps referring to himself as we. Stable? Ask Gene to look into his skull and poke around. Finished prototype for coral perimeter defenses. Rollout production on wingsuit. Rollout production on forest of missile launchers. I love that idea. Just saying. The trees of Krakoa being also missile launchers. That's just so cool. And smart. <laughs> Seeing as how they've been attacked from the air once, it's not the dumbest idea in the world. Begin farming poisonous pollens and mind control fungal spores and oxygen rich plankton for deep water lungs. Develop Krakoan body spray with, with extra H.E. pheromones that smells like bacon and leather. Test out by walking past Domino. Does she look twice? Be sure not to get 500 push-ups every afternoon at 4 p.m. New goal! Homework. Short Stack, his nickname for Logan, has a question I build him blank. The question isn't should I. The question is how long should I make him wait just to annoy him? Okay. I, 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 I like I, I'm. I was already fairly sold on the book from the first three issues, but this was just kind of icing on the cake. Anyway, so the story, the first arc, as it were, ends with an attack on a uh, a clean energy start of the experiment with Greco and Tech, and. Kid Omega, Domino, and Wolverine charging charging into the front, only to have the gate destroyed as Wolverine and Kid Omega are partially through. Decapitating Kid Omega and cutting Wolverine in half. And that is the first arc, half arc. I feel like issue number four was kind of an important part of the arc as it really officialized X Force within Krakoa, but at the same time, it does end with that. They're in the. They just. They leave for a new mission, so. Yeah. Anywho, um, yeah, that's the first. That's basically the first of the Dawn of X arcs uh, wrapped up. Um, I thought about including the Marauders in this as well, because but that the arc that wrapped up in Marauders was much more of the B story for the first four issues as opposed to the A story, which X Force One through Four actually really does get that A story taken care of while planting seed, while planting seeds for various B stories to come, such as Zeno. Um, Mainly, well, okay, mainly Zeno. Anywho, as always, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Links to my Facebook, Twitter, Patreon, and PayPal can be found in the description box down below. And um, I will be taking the next couple days off for the holidays. Um, I Honestly, I really was planning to take today off as well, but I didn't, I realized I hadn't said anything, so... I'm taking, like I said, I'll, I'm taking the next two days off for, for the, like I said, for the holidays. 
I'll be back on Thursday with the, with the weekly comic book roundup. As believe it or not, there are comic books coming out this week, and ones that I that I buy. So um, there will be there's no movie review coming out this week though, but there will be a building the team. Um, to everyone, to all my viewers, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah. Uh, or, you know, happy ho in general, happy holidays to you and yours. Uh, and, and, of course, live long, rock hard. And once again, happy holidays. Thanks for watching.